Seahawks Frank Clark tweets, deletes post disparaging female reporter. Lest anyone has forgotten, Seattle Seahawks defensive end Frank Clark has a history with women. The bad one. So while no player should be tweeting disparaging things to reporters, even if they disagree with a story that's been written, it's especially galling when someone like Clark directs an insulting post at a female reporter, apparently over the two-year-old story. Natalie Weiner, who writes about the Seahawks for Bleacher Report, wrote on Twitter Tuesday night that she'd gotten a tweet from Clark. The 2015 second-round pick has since deleted it, but Weiner took a screenshot, captioning it, writing about domestic violence is fun and risk-free Clark wrote, people like you don't have long careers in your field. I have a job for you cleaning my fish tank when that little job is over. Several hours later, after his words to Weiner began to spread, Clark posted another tweet. It included the word apologize, but doesn't look anything like an apology, does not mention the person he disparaged, and in general makes no sense. What prompted Clark's outburst is unclear, but Weiner wrote a story last week with Greg Hardy, the aftermath of his domestic violence case and his attempted comeback as well as the checkered histories of some of the players taken in the NFL draft. Clark was not mentioned in the story, but Weiner did link to a story she wrote about Clark and his own history of domestic violence two years ago, after Seattle took the former Michigan product in the second round. Weiner tweeted it's the only thing she'd written about Clark. In the story, Weiner wrote about her disappointment with the Seahawks for drafting Clark, especially after coach Pete Carroll and general manager John Schneider had previously said they would never, ever draft a player who'd struck a woman. In November 2014, Clark was at a hotel in Ohio with his girlfriend, Diamond Hurt, and her two younger brothers, then five and three, when the couple began fighting. According to police, the fight was so loud it brought guests in neighboring rooms into the hall, and Hurt's brothers ran out of the room screaming, saying, Frank is killing our sister. When a hotel manager entered the couple's hotel room, he allegedly told her, I will hit you like I hit her hurt, before pushing past her and leaving the room. Hurt was not unconscious during the altercation, and police took photographs of a welt on her face, marks on her neck and what they said appeared to be a rug burn on one thigh. Though Hurt refused to press charges, under Ohio law because officers found evidence of domestic violence, they arrested Clark. The county prosecutor later reduced his charges from first-degree misdemeanor domestic violence to fourth-degree disorderly conduct despite multiple witness statements that Clark had assaulted her. Clark took a domestic violence awareness course and paid the fine and court fees. Though he was dismissed by Michigan two days after the incident, the Seahawks still made Clark the 43rd pick in the draft a few months later. And since he was credited with 10 sacks in 15 games last season, it's likely all we'll get from the Seahawks, if anything, is an empty statement.